Hi, we're at the next stage now. Um, here's the clay model that you saw previously. As you can see, it's very cracked because the clay has shrunk over the wire and tape figure. But that doesn't matter because before it cracked up, I took it to mould maker Steve Cole and he made this plaster copy for me which is very durable and I'll be able to keep that with me while I'm carving to take, uh, take measurements from. This is the mould he made. It's made out of fiberglass and silicon rubber which he painted on uh, to the figure and then when that was made he poured wet plaster into the figure and that was dry. This came out. Can you show us the inside of it? So silicon rubber recreates um, all the features perfectly, so every little tool mark can be seen, not that it's needed, but this is a very exact copy of my clay original. So what I did then was I bought some uh, sheets of Perspex, it's actually clear, but luckily it's got this white um, protective layer on it. and. Um, the dimensions of uh, this perspex sheet is actually the same as the stone, but it'll stop. The stone will stop up to here. And then I, I made panels like this, and with a pen, just traced around the figure, so that I know how much stone will have to be kept, and how much I can get rid of. So after I drew this figure on all four panels I am then drilling holes into the figure into the perspex into, yeah in, but only only where I need to into the perspex and I'll show you later why this is very useful it uh, sounds quite strange but you'll see in the other photographs later photographs why it's so useful not very um, not very artistic this bit, but it's a real time saver and very useful. So I've got lots of holes to drill for now, and in the next video I'll um, show you how I'm going to use them.